Okay, so, hello. Hi. So, I'm Keija, and this is my friend, Leva. So, why are we here, Leva? Okay, so today's topic, we are going to talk about education. Ugh, boring. Yeah, it kind of sounds like unexciting. I mean, before we get to the point, I want to ask you guys some question. I mean, how your, how's your day? How's your school day? It's boring, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be real. We all can agree that school is boring. And the worst part is that we spend 13 years of our life just for school. And it's not include college yet. If we're including college, we're gonna add another four years if we graduate in time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we spend 13 years not include college of like one year of kindergarten, six years of elementary school, another three years of junior, junior high, high school, and then another three years for senior, senior. high school. So what's the point? For I mean, this whole long journey. like, let's be real. Between me and you, we are gonna forget the subject that we learn in the next one year. And maybe worse, some of you guys might even forget the next second that you step out of the class. Mm -hmm. yep. So, why are we here? Is there any point at all? I mean, let's be real. It's not, like, there's 90% chance that it's not gonna be used in the future. Like, if we are born to be a musician, we're not gonna need to learn how to solve algebra. Or even... Those biological things. Mm -hmm, those biological mm -hmm. things, those science things, like, we're not gonna need that. So, there's no point at all at school, right? Yes, it is. So, why are we learning all of those? Hmm. So, now, I am here to tell you guys about the importance, the importance to role play of education itself. So, is there any? There is. So, let me explain to all of you. Mm -hmm. First of all, education helps to develop your thinking and problem solving abilities you know okay of course before we solve a problem we need to first know and understand the problem itself right oh. and also every person has their own point of views so in education you are teach to to be able to solve problem for from different angles without any dilemmas and also in education, you are given a chance to ask questions from for the teachers, right? I mean, you have to be active and how can I explain it? So, um, like, you have to, I mean, like, if you're asking random random people about that question, it might, yes. like, you might not trust that person yes. to answer correctly. Yeah. But if it's, it's, it's people from outside your school, you might not think that their answer is credible because mm -hmm. like they are not um, credible enough <laughs> they are not um you know like from the field right mm -hmm. and if the teachers themselves you know they are familiar with the topic and of course, okay let's jump to the second uh second point is uh education helps to build your creativity and also imagination and Okay, I think that in this technical era, these two qualities uh, have become indispensable. And mm. yeah, I mean, I mean, I agree. Yeah, yeah. you do agree, right? Like, there's some people that are actually born into like uh, education field, like science, biology. But there's some True. people who are born to be an artist, yes. musician, non academic, mm -hmm, musicians, like or a painter. Yes. Or even like. Writer, yeah, writer. So it's it's true. Um, of course, I mean there are also lots of kids that are not, you know, interested in this field in art things. But in education, you are thought about, you know, like from music to drawings, right? And actually, you might think that this is not important, but this art things is actually uh, building up your how you think critically about something, about an idea. Let's say in the future you have a small business or you are working with someone that requires you to think. Creative. Yeah, think creative, right? And from this education, you are able to think of a new innovative ways that uh, difference your ideas from the from the others that has your own characteristic way. So like it's like a unique way or unique characteristic of your own, right? Indeed. 
in the okay. end. That's what education taught you. Also, the last one, um, you are also thought about uh, emotional intelligence. I mean, we all knew that kids these days throw a lot of tantrums to their parents, right? Or to their teachers. And in education, you might think that you're just learning about those all of those subjects. Mm -hmm. But actually, no. It's also about how you improving your personal uh, image. Your, oh. How you, you know, behave to each other, to your friends, to, to the people older than you. It is also important. So it's like an attitude of yours. Uh, yeah, so you know how you control your emotions. It's also important because not not every people can control themselves, you know. Mm, like maybe yeah, maybe you are 20 years old but so throwing tantrum. <laughs> yes, like childish. Now in education you are able to you know to behave. So in education also teach you how to respect others, yes. how to control your emotions, how to explain, uh, how to um, explain yourself without hurting anyone. Yes, feelings, right? True, indeed. So yeah, those are you might think uh, you cannot get from education, but it's actually very very important for your future. And I also think that it's what makes us different from like yes. uneducated people because nowadays you can see how uneducated people react on the street, like they're saying bad words like mm -hmm. it's just really not educated people yeah. like, so it's okay. really it really distinguish our behaviors mm -hmm. between us that are educated and those that are uneducated okay i agree so um, in the end there's actually a lot of things that we can learn from schools indeed there are wow. lots of things and i mean some of you guys might say that um there's actually a people who did not go to school and still succeed. I mean, there is. I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah, but there's some, people. there's some people who actually not going to school and still success in life, but are we gonna depend our life on that? Are we gonna gambling our future? Based on that mindset. Based on that mindset. Because let's be real. If you're talking about chances, there's actually a bigger chances for educated people to be succeed rather than uneducated people. Is there any chance for uneducated people to be successful? Yes, there is. But there's so small chance. small chance. Because nowadays, um, I think education is pretty, pretty uh, needed in the social life and work life. And I mean, if we're gonna... If we want to be respected, we need to respect other, and we need to learn how to work in team. We need to learn um, how to be creative, and I think we all learn that in school. And it's not because of the subject, but because of the socially or social interaction social that we life, have yes. um, in school every day with our teacher, with our friends, with our um, group members, and it's I think it's pretty important. Uh, mostly, like or. Or even when you join a uh, extracurricular, mm -hmm. you also get more point of that. Yes. And I think it's pretty good for you to learn how to, um, how to socialize and how to work in team. Yeah, you must uh, keep in mind that education is not only uh, taught you about hard skills but also soft skills. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so thank you for listening. I'm Keja, and this is my friend Leva. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you for your time.